hello everyone welcome back to my next video in my last video on the design of bridges i have given you the introduction about the design of rcc bridges types of bridges types of loading and irc details in types of loading i have taken only irc class aa tracked vehicle and wheel vehicle loads i have explained now coming to the second type of load that is irc class a load irc class a loading this loading consists of a train of vehicles like this a drawing already have drawn for your convenience See? this is a train of vehicles representing the class a load i recall these loadings are given by irc 6 2016 section 2 specification for loads and load combination all of you can have a look in the code book so same figure is there in that irc 6 2016 code so this represents the class a loading a series of train train of vehicle okay so this is the first axle i am showing you class a train of vehicle okay so this is the first axle we can see one side a series of axles the other series we cannot see so this is the first axle which is carrying a load of 27 kilo newton it is in kilo newton whereas in irc 6 code you may find it as 2.7 ton okay don't get confused it's 27 kilo newton second axle is at a spacing of 1100 mm that axle also carries a load of 27 kilo newton third axle is at a distance of 3200 mm it carries a load of 114 kilo newton same way fourth 114 kilo newton again at a spacing of 4300 mm you have 68 kilo newton axle Again at 3000 mm, 68 kilo newton axle. Again at 3000 mm, uh, 68 kilo newton axle. And this is this is a series of train. That is why we are calling it as a train of vehicles. Okay. So this figure is there. Whenever you are going to design it for class A loading, you can just refer to this one. This class A loading has to be adopted on all the roads on which permanent bridges. are constructed permanent bridges are constructed we adopt for class a loading so this figure you have to refer whenever we have to design the permanent road bridges okay so now this is the elevation this is the plan just to save time already i have drawn but i will explain how i have taken this is the first axle carrying 27 kilo newton so first axle tire wheel This is the wheel of first axle. The other end of the axle has another wheel, <coughs> and they are separated by a distance of 1800 mm. So this is the first axle, 27 kilo newton axle. Then second axle is at a distance of 1100 mm. So in the plan, at a center to center distance of 1100 mm, I have drawn the second axle. one wheel this side one wheel on the other side so this axle also carries 27 kilo newton third axle it is at a distance of 3200 mm so in the plan at a distance of 3200 mm from second axle we have a axle with two wheels separated by a distance 1800 mm carrying a load of 114 kilo newton again at 1200 most of you make mistake in the first set of axle the di the, dis the the difference between the two uh, axles is 1100 in the second set of axles the distance between the two axles is 1200 mm so again at a distance of 1200 mm i have drawn an axle with two wheels carrying a load of 114 kilo newton so if you want to continue further again at 4300 you get this set of axle again at 3000 mm you can draw a train or a series of axles so this is sufficient for us to explain so this is the plan okay this is a plan fine so here 
I have taken the highest load is 114 kilo newton. So this axial I have cut one section PP you can see. I am cutting a section I am seeing it from here. So I can see this wheel this wheel or the cut tire of this the cut tire of this and the body of the vehicle. So that section I am showing it here. Okay. So that section I am showing it here you can see this is one wheel at a distance of 1800 mm center to center there is another wheel over which a body of vehicle is there this body of vehicle is here okay then at some distance because mostly we have two lane bridges okay we have four lane bridges also i am showing for two lane bridges this one so after some distance that distance is represented by g okay there is another vehicle whose wheels are same like this a replica of this figure will come there okay so this g represent the minimum clearance between the two crossing vehicles g is the minimum clearance distance between the outer edges of the two crossing vehicles the crossing vehicles may be in the opposite direction or in maybe in the same direction one may overtake the other no so the minimum distance between those two tires must be g and what is this f f is the minimum clearance distance between the outer edge of the wheel here i can write again it is same outer edge of the wheel and the curb okay so in class double a loading the same thing we represented with letter c in class a loading and in class b loading we represent that distance by small f is it clear right this is g is the representation of the minimum clear distance between the two crossing vehicles f is the minimum clearance distance between the road face and the outer edge of the tire <coughs> now here again these are the wheels you can see i have taken the contact area <clears throat> because the tire is curvical in shape when the tire rest not the entire width rest is try to imagine when a tire tire is not rectangular it is somewhat curvical it is like concave tire so it rest only a small width will be resting completely okay in the direction of motion the complete width will be resting but in the other direction the complete width of tire will not rest because it is bulged above like this a curve has a curve like this okay so the tire because it, it rests only little portion the entire this will not rest on the ground only a part of the tire will rest on the ground so this is w and b the contact area of the wheel because the wheel load or the axial load is getting transmitted on the road on the bridge through the contact area so here the contact area is w and b okay so this w and b varies for different axles for 27 kilo newton it is something else for 114 kilo newtons it is something else for 68 kilo mm. this w <coughs> is in the direction of motion of the vehicle this is the direction of the motion of the vehicle and this is in the other direction this w and b is the contact area so the things this is the contact area through which the axial load is getting transferred it varies from axial to axial so this wb this f and g they are all given in irc 6 2016 so the tabular column already i have made it too easy the job so this is the ground contact area of the wheels the ground contact area of the wheels when the axle is 114 kilo newton when the axle is 114 kilo newton axle first axle which is transmitting 114 axle this one then the contact area is 250 mm b is 250 mm and w is 500 mm for the axle having six, carrying 68 kilo newton load the contact area is 200 kilo newton sorry 200 mm and w is 380 mm for the axle the least load carrying axle 27 kilo newton the contact area of the tire with the ground is 150 mm b and w is 
200 mm so this specification has to be taken when we design the bridge for the carriage wave width and all we require these distances in the coming classes you will be knowing this fine so then comes this minimum clear distance f and g f is the minimum clearance distance between the road face and the outer edge of the wheel and g is the minimum clearance distance g g is the minimum clearance distance between the two wheels of the crossing vehicles so this is also given in irc 6 2016 if the span or if the clear carriage way is 5.5 meter to 7.5 meter the g value that is the spacing between the two vehicles is the spacing between the two vehicles is 0.4 meters i hope you are you are seeing this it's clear to you all okay the this the value of g is zero it varies uniformly from 0.4 meters to 1. 2 meters that means if it is 5.5 meters then the value of g shall be 0.4 meter if the clear carriage wave width is 7.5 meter the value of g that is the clear distance between the two vehicle shall be the vehicles will shall be 1.2 meters suppose our clear carriage wave width is in between those two values then we have to do interpolation we have to do interpolation and get the correct value of g if the span is more than 7.5 meter then the value of g is fixed at 1.2 meters f f is the clearance distance between the outer edge of the wheel and the road face so it's constant 150 mm for all the vehicles so these points you have to remember when we are designing the bridge for class a loading and here one point which i forgot in this loading is the distance between the uh, center uh, axle to axle or you can say uh, uh, nose to tail of the other vehicle if the, suppose a series of vehicles are moving the distance between the two vehicles shall not be less than 2000 20000 mm that is 0.2 kilometers between two vehicles distance between the uh, running vehicle and the rear vehicle or the front vehicle the distance the um, minimum distance should maintain be as 0.2 km so these are the specifications given in irc 6 which we have to follow when we design the for the bridge for class a loading if you like my videos please like my videos and subscribe my channel